Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! What? Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Oh, no! No! You get away from me! But Keisha! No! Every time I take your advice, I either become homeless or I get scarred for life. I just got this sick deal with Nickelodeon. I'm fine. I don't need you anymore, Slim Shady. Hey, you don't know what you're talking about here. Come on, buddy. No! Let's Put go make down. some games, Let buddy. Me Come go. on! No! You know I know what's best for you. Here comes the money! Here we go! I guess that actually worked out in the end. Wait, what? <laughs> now, don't you guys just love Nickelodeon? Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. I sure do. Especially nowadays, I feel like Nickelodeon is just on point with how hilarious their shows are nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> great shows okay yes nickelodeon is not so great anymore and in my opinion compared to the shows that were recently released on cartoon network and disney channel it completely falls short but that doesn't mean we can't remember all the amazing classic shows that nickelodeon has showed us in the past like drake and josh rugrats jimmy neutron planet she fairly odd parents avatar the last airbender and spongebob season one through three. Oh my god <laughs> It was so good. And I'm sure their games will hold up to how good the shows were, right? I mean, it worked out so great last time. So without further ado, let's start off with our favorite talking sponge, SpongeBob. Now, as you all know, SpongeBob can be traced into three phases. The good phase that everyone quotes and loves. Maybe a story will cheer you up. Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. And the face that is so god awful, it makes me question my will to live and faith in humanity. <laughs> Hi, Squidward! <laughs> Why do we sin? Now this phase right here, the phase that we're actually in is, it's a little fuzzy because I heard it's actually pretty good, but I'm too traumatized from the past phase to actually check and also, I, I just don't really care. So anyways, let's check out a game from the good phase with SpongeBob SquarePants, Super Sponge. And as you can see by this goofy freaking SpongeBob drawing in the sky, SpongeBob has truly evolved into the Super Sponge we all always needed. Also, I know it's supposed to be SpongeBob in some Superman stance, but it really just looks like he's a giant on his tippy toes. So the game starts off with a weird sitcom-like intro, introducing all the characters that you already know about because why else would you buy this game if you don't know who SpongeBob is. And he's dead. He, he, he is straight up dead. Us squirrels don't like those squid types, so we just kill him. I hope the neighborhood squirrels don't find me. I'm gonna go take off a litter off that restaurant. You better not, you money grubby piece of shit. Yeah. Ah! Well then, that was one weird introduction. Um, let's carry on then. <sighs> Here we are at Bikini Bottom, and today- Wait one second, sorry to cut you off, narrator, but- Yep, he, he had a stroke. Oh, and he's off to go buy Patrick a gift for his birthday. So he goes to get a signed photo from Mermy Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh my God, where are your arms? Oh God, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, sorry about that. But of course, these old geezers can't just sign a picture for someone's birthday. SpongeBob has to bring him a snack first. But hey, you can't criticize him too hard. I mean, this is probably gonna be Mermaid Man's last snack of his life. Uh, yeah. See that butter? Tomatoes. Jelly. <laughs> oh my god. That is probably the saddest order I, I think I've ever heard. And and with that said, um, do you want fries with that? You're asking for a little too much, buddy. Don't push it. So yeah, this whole game is just getting Mermaid Man snacks so we can sign a picture for Patrick. By the time we get back, Mermaid Man probably won't even be alive anymore. You could have asked for, uh, I don't know, prunes at the local supermarket. All right, but before I grab my net, I might as well talk to Squidward. Hi, Squidward. Ready for another great day together, friend? Hey, Mom. Moron, why don't you take your net and go waste somebody else's time? Jesus Christ, Squidward. Tone it down a little. I mean, I remember him being mean in the show, but calling SpongeBob a moron just because he asked to hang out is a little rough. Eh, but how could I be mad when I can grab jellyfish and watch him squirm? Oh no. Why'd I do that? Now this game is fun until all the annoying sound effects drive you insane. You got the jellyfish that go. 
And the sound effect every time you pick up a spatula. And that freaking beeping that I have no idea where it's coming from. Also, how is this a PlayStation game? It looks like it should be on the Sega Genesis. It's weird that a game that looks like this is on the same console as this. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty small game. But what can you expect from a game from such a... Mm, Mwah, beautiful era. And also, how can we forget another game that came out in this era? I mean, come on, just these two games alone make me give SpongeBob a pass. So I won't talk about the awful game that came out in this disgusting era after 2004. Okay, I'll at least show you the title because it's just comedy gold. It's called SpongeBob SquarePants. Lights, <laughs> camera, <laughs> pants. <laughs> They did it, guys! They created the funniest name in gaming history! But what other comedy can I expect from the god-awful face that makes me want to question my will to live and faith in humanity? It just really summarizes all the witty, smart jokes that really make you think in that era. Oh, and also, it's just stupid minigames, so you're not really missing much, so let's move on. Now, my favorite show on Nickelodeon growing up was 100% Rugrats. Gonna. Didn't expect that, huh, bitch? And I still think to this day, it's one of the greatest shows of all time. And you might be thinking, now, why is that, K-Shot? I know it's an amazingly creative show with lovable characters and funny jokes, but get all that out of here. No! The reason why this show is so great is because of one man. One great man that holds this entire show together. And that man is Angelica. She is definitely not one of the most annoying characters ever to be created by man. <laughs> Which is why I think I just found the greatest game I think I will ever play. Rugrats Totally Angelica. Now that is fashion. Now that I have the new Cynthia Dream Mall fashion show playset, you can be as beautiful and graceful as me, Cynthia. Okay, good. I think she honestly needs to work. She looks like you just scribbled on her with magic marker to make her face. So after trying to open up this box for like an hour doing everything she could, she can't seem to open it. And not only could she not open it because these stupid people glued this box together with cement, but the idiots actually sent the box broken. Now, can you believe these people? Jesus, you can never get good service these days. So yeah, this is one of those games. You know the ones. The ones where you know they're trying to pull in all those little girls to play their garbage game, but in the process of making it look like Paris Hilton, Barbie, and a unicorn barf into a PS1, they end up making the game so terrible that both genders don't want to be near it. Why limit your game to just one gender when you can go for both? With no risk of making the game I want to barf Skittles terrible and the ability to sell twice as many copies. But with all that said, we gotta fix you up for your date, sweetie. You ain't gonna be walking out this house looking like Quasimodo and Shrek's gross ogre human baby. Mm -mm. Now look at that. Look at that improvement. You look fine. I'll take you in a to-go box. <laughs> all right. You're probably like 12, sorry. All right. We talked about the two biggest shows on Nickelodeon, so I guess we can call it a day. See you later, guys. Not so fast, you bag boy looking individual. Who's that? You offer me no respect. You don't even call me good. Godfather. Do I know you? You come into my house on the day of my daughter's wedding. We're not in your house. Who is your daughter? What? And you asked me to play Nickelodeon.com without parents' permission. <laughs> is is that why you came here? To get me to play Nickelodeon.com like I did with the Disney Channel games? Fine, I'll give you permission. But only this once. Accept it as a gift on the day of my daughter's wedding. All right, that guy was freaking weird. Um, I guess we'll go on Nickelodeon.com then. All right, let's look at this piece of crap. Oh my god, I'm doing everything in my power of will not to press. That yeah, never mind. This website is garbage. No! If I can survive through Disney lol, I can survive this. Come on now. This is a box of kittens to a guy like me. All right, let's go into the game section. So as you can see, you got an assortment of games spanning across countless Nickelodeon TV shows. You got SpongeBob and you got SpongeBob and SpongeBob and oh, that's actually cool. They actually have SpongeBob in this one. Why is SpongeBob in every one of these games? Actually, the reason why is because most of these games are basically quote unquote crossover games where all the Nickelodeon gang come together to play some freaking sick spin off games that Mario already did. Speaking of Mario, I need a break from Nickelodeon just really quick. So let's actually play the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They actually have the full game uh, uh, right here on Nickelodeon.com slash I'm a con man. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, SpongeBob, of course, he's in every freaking game, the Red Power Ranger, and Alvin and the Chipmunks. 
<laughs> this is real. Th this is actually real, guys. Never have I ever thought I'd see the day where Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks would finally have the guts to punch SpongeBob right in his stupid face. That day is here, guys, and may God have mercy on all of our souls. Now, all these characters are great, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Invader Zim, since it is one of my favorite shows, and it's about to get a new movie that I swear if they mess up on, look at me, look at me. If you mess this up, you will not be getting one of my grandma's homemade enchiladas, I'm just saying. Choose a brawl call. I'll choose my brawl call, my bro. To summon into battle when you need some extra help. Okay, one, I won't need some help, okay? Let's just get that straight. But since you offered, I, gu I guess I'll pick one. All right, which one should I pick, Captain Man? There is a character on Nickelodeon called Captain Man. Captain Man! Captain Man! <laughs> Captain Man! Captain F***! Man. We hit the jackpot on that name, didn't we, boys? I bet it took you all day to come up with that one. Probably had hundreds of crumpled up pieces of paper scattered on the floor. With that said, I, I want Captain Man on my team. With my extraterrestrial knowledge and your manage, we're practically indestructible. Now, in this game, you can do some pretty insane moves. Like this one, which I like to call Gnome Gnome Go Home. Yeah, it's pretty sick, as you can see. This next move is called Gnomeo and Shoot It. The Gnomosity. The Gnome Star. Yeah, this is basically just mash the buttons until you eventually do something else other than the same freaking no move the game now you may be thinking uh there's a special button if you press x so you're dumb k shot yeah but when you press it you begin to realize that it's actually not that special because it does what 90 percent of the other buttons do Freaking nothing! How do you mess that up? Okay, I need to move on. I'm, I'm just getting too mad, all right? All right, how about we cook up a nice Krabby Patty to just put us in our happy place? Now, when you tenderize the meat, be sure to gently tap it with your spatula. <laughs> Success! There we go. Now, let's give it to the judges. What's this? What's this? It's the boot that I'm about to shove into your face. You know what? Let's play a game that has nothing to do with Spongebob and has everything to do with the greatest show on Nickelodeon, Game Shakers. Let's play a clip. Your game's in the hot top ten. What? Get out of here. Can quit just... <laughs> Comedy gold. All right, let's play as Triple G. Triple G? The spawn of the famous rapper Double G. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot it. I'm just gonna shoot the show. Sorry about that, guys. Had to put it down. Oh, and what can I expect from the last time? It's another freaking Mario Party ripoff. God dang it. Just show me the mini games. Juggling wieners. Fighting as presidents. And I'm Nixon. Bears with hats on. Being chased by butts with laser guns. <laughs> Screw this. We failed as a species, and it's their fault. Wait, what? Well, with all the data I've gathered in today's video, I think it's fair to say that Nickelodeon games are much better than Disney Channel games. L let's be frank. I guess they just took better care of their bigger titles than Disney did. And also, just in case some people are worried, I'm not gonna have every video in Season 2 be a sequel to a video in Season 1. That would just be stupid. So don't worry about that happening. But there is one more sequel coming next month in Horror Month. And if you guys don't know what Horror Month is, it's basically just my favorite month of the year, where I talk about terrible stuff relating to to horror like bad horror movies and bad scary games you get it but with that all said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i also hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys next time peace